The number of women diagnosed with high-risk ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS, is increasing each year. For many women, a mastectomy will be required, which is a lot for any woman to face. But for up to 80% of these patients, further surgical treatment could now be avoided. The standard treatment for all patients is to receive a sentinel lymph node biopsy at the same time as the mastectomy, to allow for pathological analysis of both the breast and the lymph nodes. But while a sentinel node biopsy is considered to be minimally invasive, it can lead to complications after surgery, such as long-lasting pain or swelling in the arm, which can dramatically affect everyday life. There is a new surgical technique designed to help reduce this, delayed sentinel lymph node biopsy. Using MagTrace, an advanced lymphatic tracer that remains in the nodes longer than any other tracer, surgeons can accurately mark the most likely location of the cancer if it's found to have spread to the underarm. During surgery to remove the DCIS, MagTrace is injected into the breast and will naturally migrate to the sentinel nodes, where it will remain in place and provide a continuous reference for upwards of a month. After surgery to remove the breast, the DCIS specimen is then closely examined by a pathologist to confirm if any invasive disease is present. If it is invasive, the surgeon can schedule a sentinel node biopsy with confidence that the lymph nodes will be easily found, having been marked with MagTrace. However, studies have shown that in up to 80% of high-risk patients, DCIS will be non-invasive. For these patients, there is no additional surgical benefit to removing lymph nodes, meaning they can be spared unnecessary surgery. Find out if delayed sentinel lymph node biopsy could be right for you. Visit saveournodes.com.